Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is going to be on this colorful Halloween look. I just love how it turned out. I think it looks really cute. I love the colors. And if you guys would like to see how I achieve this, just keep on watching. For my base, I will be using Tarte Shape Tip Concealer in color Fair. I wanted a very flawless and full coverage base. This was a very spontaneous tutorial, so I didn't have a white face paint, so I had to create my own or something at least close to. So my first attempt to make it more wider was to use this NYX Jumper Pencil in color Milk. After blending it, I kind of uh, paid attention that it really didn't do anything. And then I decided to use the white shade from the 12 flash color by Makeup Forever. And I apply this all over my face. For my eyebrows, I will be using Benefit Cosmetics Goof Proof Pencil. Now this step is definitely not necessary, but because I was doing a glam look, I had to do some contouring and this is the Rimmel London Insta Duo Contour Stick in the color Light. And I'm using the contour shade just to contour a little bit. To set my skin, I'm going to be using By Terry Hyaluronic Hydro Powder and I'm going to use this all over my skin. To prime my eyelids, I'm going to be using Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvas and this is a full coverage eyeshadow base and I'm using the color Illustrate. The eyeshadow palette I will be using is by BH Take Me to Brazil Rio Edition. So originally I just wanted to put eyelashes and do the print, but then when I saw this palette and I kind of said, you know what, I'm going to do a rainbow look on my eyelids. And this is what I was going for. I have to say I think this palette is absolutely gorgeous. The colors are so pigmented and so beautiful that I just was having a lot of fun creating this colorful look. To create the wing I went back to the flash palette and I used the pink shade to create my outer V. Unfortunately, these two highlight shades did not translate as well as I'd like to. The first one was more green and the second one is more pink duochrome shades. And now I'm just using the black shadow to kind of create a very, very small wing and just to darken up my eyelashes. And speaking of eyelashes, I will be using Spooky Lashes by Ardell and they're in the style Fairy Witch. For my lipstick, I will be using Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick by Ofra in the color Brickell. This is one of my favorite red lipsticks. And now, the fun part of the whole tutorial is the print. 
Now I've tried different brushes and I felt like this brush by Smashbox, the lip brush, was the easiest to use. So I created my own stencils and it wasn't easy, I was not a struggle boss. In the end it turned out okay and I just had to work a little bit with it and uh, play around with it till it was perfect. Now the trick is between each print you have to make sure that you wipe your brush and your stencil because otherwise it's going to be one big mess. Now I'm going to be doing the other shapes of the print in the random places and uh, every shape that uh, you make, you're going to make the same color center. And the way I was making it, I was just dipping the end of the brush into the color and uh, putting the little dot in the center. Now these shapes are a little bit different, you fill in the whole shape with the color, then you make a dot in the center with a white color. And this is, won't be my tutorial if I won't put something gold in it. Yeah, this one probably had to be one of my favorite, favorite colors out of the whole look. This look was definitely fun to create. I know it's not the typical Halloween look, but well, I love the way it turned out. I think it was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And this is my finished look. And this concludes my tutorial. A list of all the products that I use for today's tutorial will be linked down below for you guys easily to find to get a bit all the information where you can follow me. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, click on that notification bell so you get notified when I post my tutorials and I think this should be it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!